Good afternoon, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean, and I'm going to do a book review for the first book of the High Republic called Light of the Jedi. Uh, when they announced uh, two years ago at Chicago Celebration, Chicago, they announced this Project Luminous with the idea of multiple authors coming in and creating a new part of the Star Wars story set in a timetable that is away from the Skywalker saga. And I was, I'm always excited for new content from Star Wars, whether it's the movies or the comics, the novels, uh, the TV shows, obviously with the Mandalorian and everything that's coming with Disney plus. But when they announced this, I was super intrigued because of the, uh, Claudia Gray and, uh, Ireland and Soul and uh, Daniel Jose Alder and like a lot of the authors that I really like within the Star Wars universe were working on it together. It wasn't just one author and maybe some of the story group working on something that's going to add to uh, a movie that's come out. It's actually going to be its own separate thing. And they all sat down together and worked on it. <laughs> so we got to do lots got to learn more and more. They announced the first wave, the light of the Jedi, and we have the path of the Jedi and the f and uh, the quest of the Jedi. Is it says uh, they uh, part of the uh, release the that they did on on Tuesday was or on Monday was uh, the uh, sit down with a bunch of the authors and they talked about what's going on uh, going on forward and stuff. So, anyways, with the book itself, I was super excited about this. Charles Soule is one of my favorite. Uh, writers uh, from for Star Wars within a bunch of the comics that are going on, and I, I was excited about this. Charles Soule has a really good grasp on how to write interesting Star Wars story. So, with all that being said, I had a lot of expectations for this book. Uh, setting up a this book sets up is supposed to set up a brand new part of the galaxy that we had not been to. Uh, it's set, it's set 200 years before the prequels. So uh, I had put a lot of undue excitement and expectations on this book. With all that being said, this is unbelievably good. Like, wow. Like, I, I can't explain what just happened like it's it is so hard for me to wrap my brain around everything that just happened in this book you set up an entirely brand new part of the star wars story parts that we've never thought of before and you introduce the this idea that the republic itself is in harmony and and you have a chancellor and a leader who is caring about the people. She wants to take care of the people and everything else will figure itself out. Not the, she doesn't worry about the politics. She doesn't worry about the corporations or anything like that. She worries about the people and the Jedi are powerful and strong and part of the Republic, but they're also peacekeepers first. And they talk about how, the lightsaber is only used for defense and that it's built to cauterize and not be slow deaths and all this stuff. And I just cannot wrap my brain around what happened. Like, it's so cool. It's so well done. Um, it starts off with uh, uh, the great disaster and it is, uh, uh, this is we're not gonna get, I'm not going to get any spoilers here. Uh, I may have a theory or two at the end, uh, but it's just the first third of the book is this great disaster and it sets up a ton of what happens in the rest of the book, but also is the catalyst to the rest of the universe that we're building with the High Republic. And they don't fool around. They jump right. Charles Soule and this story group jumped right in and weren't afraid to take gigantic, huge, um, amazing swings 
but they weren't swings that were specifically that they were planned out huge swings i'm not they weren't taking swings to take swings and hoping something sticks they thought the process out of everything that they wanted to say and do within this particular story and then let charles bring his level of of detail and emotion and everything into the story and it is uh it's it's probably going to be one of my favorite books uh within the star wars universe um lost stars is probably my favorite favorite as of right now um i love catalyst and rebel rising i love uh dooku jedi lost although that's a ro audio drama uh and I, I really like Master and Apprentice with uh, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan uh, pre-Phantom Menace and stuff. But the idea that they – the things that they set up in this book really make me super even over the top excited more than I already was for this new era of Star Wars storytelling. Um, the bad guys, the bad guys themselves, the uh, uh, Nihil – uh, I believe I'm saying that correctly um, because words are hard. The I had my reservations about this idea of pirates in space. Um, and the only way I can really explain them right now is they are a more organized version of Reavers from the Firefly Serenity universe. They are cruel. They are mean they have zero respect for anyone outside of their group they're marauders they're vikings in space uh, st they st steal what they want and have disregard for everything else but there's also a madness uh, a method to the madness behind them and uh, I will get into what I think they what could be going on there towards the end and I'll let everybody know um, they uh, I, I at times with them I was questioning why we should be concerned about them uh, they in all of the pre stuff that we were getting from the Project Luminous group is what is the thing that scares the Jedi and what's out there that scares the Jedi. And they mentioned in this book about the Jedi Sith war, uh, that their ancestors, that the Jedi f fought in the Sith war. Uh, so there's nothing really out in the universe in in the galaxy at this point in time that really is challenging the Jedi at all for either power wise or strategy wise or anything like that. There's local skirmishes and small uh, systems around the galaxy, but there's nothing really big going on until the Nihil, 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 Nihil come in uh, and they do some stuff in the last big battle that really make you worried about how far they're willing to go to get what they want. Uh, and what they want is very interesting, uh, especially taking the view of the other side with the Republic and what the Republic is trying to do in expanding and helping out uh, the outer rim and, and bringing stability, quoting fingers, to the outer rim and how that's counteracted by the Nihil. Uh, Nahi, 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 uh, woo, woo, uh, um, but I just, I cannot, I cannot recommend this book enough. Uh, I'm actually going to go on to one of our, a couple of our Star Wars discussion groups that I have right now and tell everybody to start, drop what they're doing and go read this book. Uh, I listened to it on audible on audible. Um, it was 14 hours or so. I play it at 1.25 speed. So it's a little bit faster than, than one speed. Uh, I was engaged the entire time. I had to drop it yesterday from work and was upset that I had to get done. Like I had to stop listening to it. It was that engaging. Uh, uh, I just, I, 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 I'm sitting here trying to trying to describe it without spoiling it. And I just, I, I it's hard to do. Uh, I highly recommend that you go get this book. 
With all that being said, I'm going to do one little speculation thing because it's Star Wars. And so we got to speculate stuff. But um, the so if you don't want to know anything spoilery wise, uh, you can ditch out now. Thank you. Hit the like button, subscribe, blah, 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 whatever, all that stuff. Um, but uh, with all that being said, the the main bad guy, uh, the eye uh, of the Nile, um has towards the end a very um how do i word this maniacal thought process and i'm not saying for sure and i'm not saying that this is not this is true but i can see the possibility of them making him uh uh Darth Plagueis. He could be the connective tissue going into where we get with the Skywalker, the Skywalker saga. Uh, I was just realizing that there is connective tissue within this for the Skywalker saga. They talked about Yoda a couple of times. Yoda's going to have his own uh, young adult comic uh, with his adventures in a book, I believe. Um, that, but they mentioned like Dagobah and Tatooine and not Tatooine, uh, Naboo, Coruscant, uh, like stuff like that. Um, and so there is enough here that you're like, oh, I know, I recognize that. Oh, I recognize that. Uh, uh, Corvettes and, and stuff like that. But they also have mentioned, you know, new ships and new different style of lightsabers and that kind of thing uh but I, I i really think that there could be a possibility that he may not necessarily be uh I, 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 no i'm going to say it he's some kind of dark side user or from a line of sith he is from that that line of sith uh somewhere and he's got because he makes such a huge deal about having a jedi in in his captor uh, at the end of the book that I just feel like it's it's uh, it's hard to say that he's not somehow at least somewhat dark side sith -y at some point in time. But uh, I don't know what to think to going forward. I'm going to go to my comic book. I was supposed to go to my comic book shop today and I totally forgot. Uh, but I'm going to go start reading the comics. The comics started today. This is the 6th and uh looking forward to some of the more of the, the books uh i i probably will skip some of the young reader ones uh to stay with the next one uh but i i just i i, I cannot recommend this book enough and what we're getting and what we're going forward with in the uh, uh the publishing side of star wars storytelling is super exciting right now so with all that being said, thank you very much for watching. Let us know what you thought of the book and my re reaction to it in the comments down below. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and follow us on all the social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links are in the description down below. And until next time, cult members, we are all the Republic.